Hey guys, Travis at 1UP Adventures and Fly Products USA. We wanted to take a few minutes of your time for those of you who already own Fly Products trikes and go over a few items on the trikes that you should be inspecting on a regular basis and that you might need to change out on a, at least an annual basis. So we'll get started. Next we're going to cover what we call the loops. The loops are where your carabiner attaches to the trike and they are made out of a um, synthetic material. These should be changed out. Fly Products recommends at least annually. Uh, they're inexpensive, we have them in stock, but this is a critical thing that the glider attaches to the carabiner, to the loop, to your trike. Obviously UV exposure is going to wear these loops out quicker because they are a synthetic uh, fabric material. So if you leave your trike out in the sun, we do recommend that you inspect these more often. Okay, next thing to look at is your carabiners. On this trike, we do have stainless steel carabiners, so they're very, very strong. But we do recommend that you at least inspect these on an annual basis. Um, if they've been dropped, especially if it's an aluminum carabiner, if it's been dropped, we do recommend replacing the carabiners. But at least inspect these, and I'd say at least every three years, you might want to consider replacing your carabiners on your trike. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about the front end of the trike. There's a couple things here we want you to take a look at. First off, this is your brake. Often, um, if you're driving a lot through like high grass or, or, or rocks or sticks, this cable here, especially the outer sheath on the cable, can get broken or frayed. And over time, that can actually interfere with the ability of the brake to operate smoothly. So just come take a look at this. Make sure your cable is smoothly operating. If it, if it is broken, uh, we can either get you a replacement cable or you can get a cable at a bike shop. It's very easy to replace. Same thing with the sheathing on the brake cable. It's very easy to replace that. But we do recommend you take a look at that. Also on the front end here, you've got your suspension system for the, for the nose wheel, which is a bungee type suspension system. And we have found that after about um, maybe 100, 150 hours, the bungees uh, do get soft over time just because they've been stretched so many times. So take a look at those, if, if the front end of your trike, if you jump on it and, it and it compresses all the way, it's probably time to replace these bungee systems and we can get that for you as well. And you will find a market improvement by replacing that suspension. And again, it's fairly inexpensive to do that. The Fly Products Flash Cruiser and Zenit trikes use a cable support system. And these are something that it is important to inspect on a regular basis. Over time, again, riding over a lot of rough terrain, you might see some minor fraying in the cables and you can run your hand up and down very carefully or more, or even better just look because the, the little pieces of cable, if they do fray, you can get cut. But a few frays is fine. If it starts to get very frayed, then it's probably time to replace the cable. But again, just a couple, two or three frays is not a problem. Also, you wanna take a look at your cable tension. The, uh, on the other side of the trike, there is a tensioner. So the, over time, like anything, uh, with wear and tear, these cables will stretch a little bit. So after about 10 hours, it's probably important to retension the cables and then every 25 hours thereafter. If you look at this cable right now, it is a little bit loose. So it's probably time for us over the next couple days to retension that other side because we've got about 20 hours on this trike now. Another thing to look at is your fuel lines. Fuel lines do degrade. They are a plastic rubber based product and they do degrade over time. Uh, when you get a new fuel line, it's very soft and supple, but over time that fuel line is going to get stiff and eventually if it's not changed, it could actually crack and cause a fuel leak. So on occasion, come and feel your fuel lines, give them a little squeeze. This is a vent line. This is a fuel line right now. This trike, the fuel line on this trike is very soft and supple, so it's good. But if it starts to feel stiff or inspect it for any signs of cracking and if it starts to get very yellow, then it's time to replace. Fuel line is very cheap. You don't have to buy it through us. You can get it off Amazon or uh, your local, you know, small engine shop. But um, it, it's a worthy investment, so you don't end up with a fuel leak, or more importantly, you don't end up with an air leak because if you, if that fuel line starts drawing in air, it's going to cause a lean condition on your motor, and a lean condition on your motor could cause engine damage. On occasion, it's also important to check your tires, check your tire pressure. We like to run these between eight and twenty psi. Depends on the feel that you like. Um, I personally prefer to run these right at around 14 to 15 PSI. So you can check those by a squeeze. You can put a tire pressure gauge on them. But also check for even wear. If the tires are not inflated evenly, you are gonna get uneven wear in your tires. If you're using your tires a lot on a paved surface, 
such as a runway or you're taxiing out to the field on a taxiway, the tires are going to wear down quicker. In fact, this particular tire, I can already see that the inside of the tire is already almost rubbed all the way through the grooves. So we're probably going to be looking at a tire replacement on this side soon. And the reason why is because every day this tire is on runways and taxiways. So it's going to get worn down a little bit quicker. For hoses and liquids. So this is a Cosmos 300 engine that does, it is liquid cooled. So you've got radiator hoses and those hoses are made out of rubber. And that rubber will degrade with time, especially if it's been exposed to the sun. So just every now and then come back here, grab your hoses, make sure they're supple and they're soft and there's no cracks. And that way we don't have any fluid leaks out of those hoses and that they're connected properly. Um, if you do have a radiator coolant leak, it's going to be pretty obvious because it will stain the motor as it dries. You'll see little white marks of drops of stains. So it does become fairly obvious to see after the flight. Um, also, it's pretty obvious, at least on the Cosmos engine, because you've got a see-through um, coolant reservoir here on top. So just take a look and make sure it meets the minimum level. And uh, if not, obviously you can add uh, coolant at a 50-50 ratio to bring it up to that. But first off, if you're losing coolant, you probably got a leak and try and figure out where that leak is at first. Okay, last item we're gonna talk about is your reserve. This should actually be checked on a daily basis. And you wanna make sure first off that the handle is fully secured, that your mylar, um, pieces are going through the loops and that the handle is fully secure. It's easy getting in and out of the trike. This is why we recommend people get in from the other side to catch a foot or something on this reserve or maybe you're moving it and it can come partially out which could be quite dangerous. So inspect that before every flight. Make sure everything is secure and properly done up. And then the other thing you want to take a look at is the reserve shouldn't be like this seat should be adjusted high enough so you're not sitting on the reserve. The reserve is not compressed between your butt, the reserve, and the mainframe of the trike. Because if it is, and you have to throw it, you're gonna have a hard time getting that reserve out because it's being compressed. So there should be some space. You should be able to see this slide back and forth. If the seat is set all the way low and your weight's in it, it may be compressed. So just make sure that everything's set up properly so that you can get that reserve out if unfortunately you ever need it. I just wanted to give you guys a few things that are extra important to look over on a regular basis on your Fly Products trike. Obviously, there's many other components of the trike that also deserve your attention. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a shout at 833-BE-ALIVE or info at oneupadventures.com.